everybody. Um, my name is Esther from Zora. Um, I just got this this weekend in the mail. It's the first ever copy of Pullman News from DNA Info. Um, I guess now that Pullman is a national landmark, we get to be a part of the city, you know? And um, there is the headline a tiny coffee shop a cute little quaint homey coffee shop is being opened in the Pullman area because um the owner he's been living in the area for 10 years and he said in an article like hey like why don't we have why don't we have a, a coffee shop in this area it's crazy what kind of place is this what is this you know it's not like in normal neighborhoods so yeah that's happening and um, they're building this dome. It's called the Terra Dome out of old bike wheel frames. And they want people to have bat a rap battles around the Terra Dome. Rap battles at the fucking Terra Dome. Yeah. So that's happening. And um, tours have been seeing people take tours, like really, really confused and scared looking people getting on the tour getting on CTA with the tour guide who looks just as afraid as the people who are like standing up and refusing to sit down next to the people on the bus with me you know the people who are of this neighborhood and um there are ads here for you know homes for sale they even put an ad in the back saying let's see Inglewood Bungalow has four bedrooms for $70,000. So it's like, hey, we did this shit to Humble Park. We did it to we did it to Pilsen. We can do it to Pullman. Maybe even Inglewood. Oh my God, we can get everything we want. There are tons of suburbs out south. Push those motherfuckers out there. Give these poor fuckers Section 8. Let's, like, give them Section 8, but not in the city. Way out in the suburbs. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. You're poor. You need a house. You need a place to live. You don't want to be homeless. You move the fuck out to the suburbs. We got this motherfucking city. Get the fuck out. So, um, yeah. So you can thank your president. You can thank Rahm Emanuel. Um, and I guess you can just, you know... Thank Manifest Destiny and colonialism and imperialism. You can just thank an entire culture of of people who are so industrial. Industrial people like um, George Pullman. You know, the man of the city, of this neighborhood. Who gave all these jobs to these black people who needed them. But first, he sat down and he thought, who can I get to run my sleeping cars and treat them like slaves and have them be okay with it? <gasps> niggers! Oh, shit, yeah, niggers, they know how to serve. They could just stand there and just say, yes, sir, no, sir, while I call them a nigger, while I call them boy, while somebody calls them George, because that's just what happens with slaves. They get named after the slave owners. And then... This fucker, he uh, decided to fucking jump town and just like close everything down because he raised the workers' wages, wage, he lowered their wages 30% and they still had to pay the same fucking rent. So they unionized. They said, fuck this shit. I'm paying my fucking employer rent money and I have five or seven cents left over to feed my fucking family. And I'm doing all this fucking work. And I'm away from my family all this time. And I'm being spit on. And fucking treated like shit. Really? And so now. Um, the Pullman Porters are being held as. The beginners of this civil rights movement. Because of that strike. And you know. Um, Rosa Parks would. You, you know. Look back at them and say. Oh you know. They were the. They were the. Beginning of what we're doing right now. So that. That's what the people are saying here in the city. The people who are, you know, cultural and, you know, they know things. And when in reality, instead of the Pullman Porters starting the new, the, the, starting the black middle class, which is what they're saying, 
because they looked at the people who were riding the trains and said, oh, look, education is important. I need to go to school in order to be, you know, of means so I can have money. So, like, instead of that really happening, it really just kind of, like, fucked the whole, fucked the whole generation of people. It just furthered ancestral PTSD. This is just, like, no. Like, you gave these people jobs. You gave them jobs. You calling them jobs. But they're really, they're really still in fucking slavery. And I don't know. This shit is just crazy. I I got this paper and I walked to the to the store to the convenience store to buy you know shit like this because I live in a food desert and I didn't you know feel like going all the way to the Walmart. You know, I just needed something to eat at this point. And you know, he said. You can't stop them. They're coming and you can't stop them. This is an Arabic guy who's been in the neighborhood for years and years and years. Like this, that store is like, it's a staple. It's a part of the community. You know, that's his livelihood too. So, you know, you know, that's, that's okay. But what we really need are black businesses, black owned businesses, not just like black businesses that are like, in it to you know just make money and just like make capital and then leave the community we need self-sustainable businesses we need self-sustainable community here we need community gardens we need to look at what our neighbor needs and give that to them and then receive in turn we need to fucking enrich our own community we don't need these people with these fucking fucking blonde ass dreadlocks coming out to our motherfucking neighborhoods fixing the shit up for their own goddamn use fixing the shit up so that they can live in a nice motherfucking area while they push us out raise our motherfucking rent no we don't need that we need to like start trusting each other start talking to each other you see a black person start a motherfucking conversation with them be social understand what's going on in their life and understand that that same shit happens to you we need to stick together like sticking together is in our blood we were like we are genetically built for community let's do this shit Stop fucking posting these memes, talking shit about, you know, fucking trans women and like, you know, talking about all this homophobia shit and just putting people down, calling people thoughts. No, let's call somebody wonderful, be brilliant, magical, you know, let's like, you know, learn more about our fucking ancestors and like these like people that like we came from. Let's cut this shit out. We can stop this from becoming Pilsen. We can stop this from becoming Humble Park. We belong here. We deserve to take up space. I am going to take up space. I'm not going to go colonize another country. Africa. Ghana. I'm not going to go colonize another continent. Because I, I, need, I feel like I need to get out of your space. The space that you stole. No. I'm going to feel safe where I am and I'm going to fucking thrive. Fuck you.